Picture this. Your back's pressed hard against cold steel. You're crouched low behind the partition as a dark creature passes. A quick glance and you survey the room. Three, no, four creatures stand between you and your prize. A sandwich. Your saliva slick tongue wets your plump lips. Your eyes dart to the closest exit, to safety. But from the void of your stomach comes an urgent groan that's impossible to ignore. Space sandwich. You cock your gun. It's lunchtime. Void Bastards is a first-person strategy with a splash of roguelike, and more than a pinch of Marvel comics. In the vein of games like FTL and Out There, you're thrown into a barren galaxy and are constantly forced to make risk versus reward decisions in order to keep yourself afloat while slowly progressing towards your assigned objectives. Please follow the bouncing arrow to the line printer. While key pieces of equipment are seen on the galaxy map, it's the en-route pit stops for fuel and food where things can quickly go tits up. And it's where this FPS becomes an FPSS. In standard roguelike fare, every bullet here counts. It looks like you've run out of bullets. And you're often better off saving the lead and avoiding confrontation alien style, rather than going in gung-ho aliens style. You start with a pistol and can build out a small arsenal of guns and explosives as you find the appropriate parts. There's decent enemy variety and they all pose different threats from little explodey dudes to big dudes who can easily explode you. When you die, and you will, because it's kind of the point, you're assigned a new prisoner, each with their own quirky genetic attributes. Some good, some bad. You get to keep any weapons, equipment, and crafting components the dearly departed manage to obtain, but the core resources of food and fuel are reset. It's kind of a rogue light in this regards, as you never truly start from scratch. At times, the game borders on horror, scavenging through a derelict, dark, powerless ship constantly on the verge of suffocation, low on ammo, and not nearly as alone as you'd like to be, it does get the blood pumping. It's all framed within the eye-catching aesthetic of a cel-shaded comic book. It's a cool style and a refreshing alternative to the retro pixel art style these games commonly adopt, particularly seeing those old flat sprites from the days of Doom and Duke 3D creeping around the hallways. And while the menus and comic panel cutscenes pop like a Jack Kirby artwork, I found in general gameplay that the dark colour palette and blocky textures made the whole thing look a little muddy. It doesn't quite work for me, but you do have to commend them for going for a very distinct design. It's also a pleasantly humorous game with a bit of a scattershot approach. There's some wonderfully dry sardonic humour in the writing. Given your capabilities, an attempt to murder him would almost certainly fail. Which also manifests in your prisoner's negative genes, like this polite one that refers to everyone by their surname. But it's also not ashamed of having enemies call you names as they chase you down. There's a strong British overtone to the characters and world, which feels like it's straight from the pages of one of Douglas Adams' tamer novels. Oops. As a WCG penal client, your citizen card has been shredded. Although I am yet to encounter any whales or petunias. Hello, ground! Void Bastards has a really creative loop that pulls in a lot of great things from other titles, but I think that loop is just a little too tight. Even with random generation, you do quickly start to feel the repetition of content and ideas. I like it, but I can already feel myself losing interest and drifting away like a penal colonist ejected into the cold void of space. Most roguelikes usually grab me hard and don't let me go thanks to their minute-to-minute -minute gameplay. I still dive back into dead cells or re-enter the gungeon from time to time. But I can't say I get the same excitement from Void Bastard's shooting mechanics, which come off like an afterthought to the game's main focus on resource gathering and creepy exploration. No surprise, really, coming from the developer Blue Man Shoe, comprised of former Irrational Games developers who worked on the likes of System Shock and Bioshock and Birdemic Shock and Terror. The devs themselves are strewn all around the globe working satellite on different components of the game, but the core of the team is based in Canberra, making Void Bastards one of the most exciting things to come from the capital, second only to that big slippery dip in Questacon. By adding a new perspective to the genre, Void Bastards is well worth a look for any rogue likers or lovers out there. But like the nation's great freefall, it's briefly brilliantly exhilarating, but ultimately flattens out a bit too soon.